Hi, and welcome to Long Dog Book Reviews. I'm Shelby, and this is Kiwi. So today we'll be discussing Real World by Natsuo Kirina. Um, this is Kirino's first young adult novel. Her previous novels, Out and Grotesque, both achieved international acclaim, particularly Out, which was actually made into a movie. So Real World follows the story of a young teenage killer and the four girls who get caught up in the murder. So this boy, who is essentially what we des would describe in North America as an incel, um, kills his mother one day in hot blood and goes on the run. So his neighbor Toshiko hears this happen. She doesn't tell the police. It's not entirely clear why. Like It's kind of implied that uh, it has to do with her subconscious desire for rebellion. Toshiko and her three friends are attending cram school. It explains at the beginning of the novel that the Japanese school year runs from April to March, and it includes a summer break during which a lot of kids attend cram school in order to get to the best universities, and constantly being accosted by people who want to give her questionnaires or want to sell her something, and she's just feeling fed up with it all, and she talks about how her parents' generation couldn't possibly understand that, and how her parents' generation was a lot more idealistic, so I thought that was an interesting statement. So her, her one friend Yuzan actively decides to help this boy after he calls her using Toshi's cell phone that he stole and she decides to give him a bike and give him a cell phone and help him go on the run because on some level she could identify with him having lost her own mother and feeling somewhat responsible for her death. Uh, Yuzan is also a lesbian and she thinks that her friends are unaware of her sexuality but they are. Her other friend Kararin, a um, bit of a disclaimer, I'm probably going to butcher most of these names but I'll do my best. She is more of, she's more of the reckless type. Like she meets guys on online chat rooms. She decides to actively join Warm, his run from the law, and they have kind of a Bonnie and Clyde sort of dynamic. And there's also one scene where they introduce this kind of military role play. And because Worm is essentially an incel, he really loves power play and he likes feeling in charge. And uh, it's a very strange dynamic, but um, the final friend is Tara Uchi, who is considered the good student, the one who's guaranteed to get into university. Um, and then she's the one who's more hesitant to help him. I'm not going to give anything else away, but it's definitely a page turner. It's the kind of book that you can't really put down. I wouldn't say it's as good as Out or Grotesque, but it's still worth a read for sure. It also includes a few other interesting features. Um, during one scene, we're used as a flashback to when she was at a gay bar with a couple of her friends. Um, she leaves, and then all of a sudden, this man who's a cross-dresser just comes out of nowhere, and that was a big yawn, and then decides to beat her up. And it's not really explained why. It's implied that he's, that there's a double standard at play, so he's a cross-dresser and saying, well, you're a woman dressed as a man, you shouldn't be doing that, but it's okay for me to do that. Sexual politics are a pretty big part of Japanese culture and um, a big part of Natsuo Kirino's novels, especially in Grotesque. The double standard aspect might have been part of it, but there might have been something else at play. Again, when a novel's been translated, you never really know how much is lost in translation. So there could have been some other element to it. Maybe it was a mistranslation, I'm not sure. But another aspect is, um, is Worm's dynamic with his mother and just how sociopaths become sociopaths. He doesn't entirely explain why he wanted to kill his mother, but he said that he uses the word slut a lot. So he uses it to describe his mother, to describe Kirarin, um, and how he wants to rid the world of sluts. And also there's a point where he wants to write a manifesto. So that might seem a little bit too familiar to those of us who have been following the news. So yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a thriller. Not a mystery by any means, because you know who the killer is, but um, I would give it a 3.5 out of 10. Um, I think that we could have used a bit more of Yuzan and Teruuchi's voice. It focuses very heavily on Toshiko and Kararin, and also on Worm. His chapters are a little bit hard to read because it's... He has a very sort of irritating voice, but it's also interesting in a weird way. Um, anyone who studied criminology or who... If you're the type like me who likes to listen to podcasts about true crime, then you might appreciate that as well. So yeah. It's definitely worth a read. Uh, this copy I got from the library. It's hardcover. It's got some beautiful art on the front. And I think that Kiwi wants to go for a walk, so I think we'll say goodbye. Have a great day.